for this big heavy airplane. And a half Cuban loop. Okay. Back into show center, coming back the other direction. All that energy going downhill goes right into the next maneuver, a loop again on our left. Over the top, checks the altitude, checks the airspeed, looking good. Pulls that stick back. And this is about a 16 foot out of that big old airplane. You know you've got a heavy airplane under you when you do something like that. All right, a wing over, turn around as best you can do in this type of an airplane. But this air being warm is taking a toll on what Jerry can do with it. All right, now watch the nose come up. Now over on his back for the inverted pass. All right, being sensitive to thin air up there. Here we come downhill again. And let's see, next should be an eight point roll. One, two, three. See the crack of smoke in the sky. He goes in, nose up, he comes out, nose down. All right, Jerry will bring it around for a photo pass. Climbing high on our left. See that big Bombay door open. Get a chance to look at these airplanes when they land. And this was the type of airplane that uh, President Bush the first was flying when he was shot down in the Pacific over an island called Kikijima. They were trying to take out a communication center that the Japanese were operating. They had only one way. Aircraft powered by two 1,700 horsepower engines. Empty weight, almost 20,000 pounds. Takeoff weight, 35,000. The P-40s were actually fighter bombers. They were used in World War II. Very effective aircraft, but had limited range, and that's what led to the development of the P-51. This airplane is the 